I was threatened. Death, sexual violence, threats to my job, bomb threats to my house, packages that were vile. for Sundance Film Festival 2013, Anita Hill, red carpet premiere. So how are you? Where are you from? I am from Oklahoma. I grew up in Okmulgee County, uh, the Creek Nation, and I am excited to be here, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm so excited to talk to your viewers. Yeah, we're excited to talk to you. Thank you for the courage to stand down and give our young women a voice. Well, it's amazing. You, know, I, I have been reading uh, about problems on reservations, and the problem is all it, it, it within communities of us being able to speak out about our experience is, of course, something that I personally experienced in 1991 when there were individuals in the African American community who thought that I should have remain quiet. They thought that I would bring shame on the community. And over the years, what I've come to understand that is, in a matter of fact, what we do, that our communities cannot be strong unless our women are strong, unless our women, unless everyone has a voice and is able to participate. And so it's, it's absolutely imperative that we give women an opportunity to talk about what we need to feel safe and secure and to be completely productive in our lives. And so this is uh, an issue that resonates, I think, with women across the board, across all spectrums, but especially, I think, with women who have identify not just as women, but identify ethnically and racially and feel a, want to be part of a community and be empowered within our communities. What was your first reaction to Frida confronting you about this idea for the film? Well, I had been approached by a, a number of filmmakers and I had uh, been a little hesitant because it, who, as much as I like talking to you now, today, I didn't really like the idea of having a camera all the time. <laughs> no offense <laughs> to the camera. Um, but I, not, I knew it was important to be able to tell the story and I wanted to participate with somebody who I thought would do a great job. And I'm very happy with the job she's done. I think it's, it's marvelous. It tells the story in many ways from beginning to end. And where we are, it takes us from 1991 to where we are with issues today. As I'm looking at it, it's also a story that's moving. So who knows what the next story and the next chapter will be. As a woman, what was it like coming you know, over those obstacles, preparing yourself to come out in public? You know, I'm very fortunate because at the time I had so many good friends who were supportive. I had a wonderful family who stood by me and, and knew that this was, whatever it was, they were going, whatever the hardship was, they were going to support me. They were going to make sure that I never failed. And that's having that safety and security allows allowed me to to move forward i know some women don't have that and some women are shunned because of what they do but i tell you the amazing thing that i know today is that if you can't find that support immediately in the direct area that there are now networks of women who are looking like you, who are thinking like you, and understand what you're going through, who are always able to help and support you. It may not be the people you're closest to, but there are women and uh, men and men out there who are available to help you. Yeah, don't forget those guys. So, yeah. Well, it's great speaking to you, it looks like. Oh, they kind of want you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Could you. we? Thank yeah. You for being here. Can't wait to see your film. Congratulations. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm Anita Hill, and I'm on native ground. One day we will have to stand before the God of history. Seems that I can hear the God of history saying, "That was not enough."